Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go over my new and improved contour routine featuring Ella Masca's new innovative product, the Gel Sculpt and Gel Colour. So these are this is a contour and a blush type product that I have been trying out before it launches. I've been trying it out the last three days or so and when I mentioned that that's what I was using, I got tons of you wanting to know how to use it because it's a wee bit different than any other kind of contour product. So I thought I would comply. I thought I would do what you asked me to do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do pretty much my full face um, of makeup apart from my eyes, which is the Zoeva Rose Gold palette, by the way, if you want to know. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Uh -huh. We're going to go over these and I'm going to show you how I do my foundation. Two ways to apply them. Um, a nice natural way for daily wear and my usual kind of contour style which is a little bit heavier. Ella Mask, I think it's a great thing to, that they've brought these out because before now contour has always been matte, heavy, seriously visible which I am all about, don't get me wrong, but this is a really great product for absolutely everybody, um, even for male grooming things like that, it's going to look phenomenal so I am all for this product. And I hope you like this video and find it helpful. And I will see you next week with another one. Bye! So I've got a completely clean face, no makeup on apart from my brows and my eye makeup. And lately I've been using this Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. So a little squish of that. And then, as normal, I'm going to apply my foundation, which is Skin Base, Ella Masker Skin Base in 8.5. I'm going to pop that on all over, as usual. And I'm just using my Makeup Addiction Cosmetics brushes. I got the Arctic Pro Set, and this is the Dual Fibre Brush. And I just use this to put my makeup on all over. And I don't worry too much about my blending because I'm going to go over it with a sponge, which is my new favourite thing in the world. So when I have that fairly evenly distributed, distributed on my face, I go in with my sponge. This is the Dior sponge and my Fix Plus. Give the sponge a wee spray and then beauty blend it in. I find that this step really helps with the longevity of my foundation. It lasts all day when I do this. So I do this first. Make sure you just go over. So it's almost like I'm kind of bouncing the sponge off my skin rather than dragging it. And then I go right between my brows. Focusing mainly on the areas in the centre of the face where the foundation would slip. And it's really good for getting underneath your eyes. And blending with the makeup so it doesn't like ruin your eye makeup. Perfect. If you feel like you want a little bit more coverage in the centre areas, I pick up a little bit of the foundation with my sponge and I just apply it straight on and then I flip my sponge over and use the flat end and just press that in. And now on to the product that we want to talk about. So these are the new Ella Masca Gel Sculpt and Gel Colour. So I've got the Gel Sculpt here, which is what we're going to use first in its silhouette. And the packaging is lovely. It almost looks like a kind of larger than life lipstick. Take off the top and you've got your other wee lid here. You need to keep that on. I was silly and didn't think that was the case, but I managed to save mine. So you take off your second wee lid and that just keeps it really hydrated because it's, like it's a beautiful product. It smells... It smells amazing, it smells so fresh. But you need the second lid just to keep all the moisture in because it's um, it's quite like a water-based product which makes it just look really fresh in the skin. So colour-wise, I'll show you. 
the colour looks a wee bit, it's quite strange. Like when I first saw these, I wasn't sold at all. And then Zoe, my brand ambassador, she came up and showed me how to use it. And I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So, the first way that you can apply it is if you put it on the palm of your thumb, like so. Bounce your thumbs together. And then you apply it by bouncing that off your cheekbone. And that just gives you such a subtle, diffused looking contour. So for people that are wanting to contour but they don't want it to be like proper, serious, draggy contour, this is fab. So you can build this up as much as you like and I'll use the same technique. Just back on the thumb, put more on, bounce the thumbs together and you can just use that round your forehead contour your forehead so it's honestly it's one of the easiest contour products that i've used i think especially if you're applying it this way remember this is the first way i said to apply it so a little bit there i'm going to do a wee bit more can you see that super subtle and easy And it's really easy to do on yourself as well because you can feel exactly where you're meant to push the product in. You can feel like your hand almost cups your own cheekbones. And then, again, reapply. And it's got a really nice cool and sensation on the skin as well. So bounce your palms together and then a little bit around your jawline. And this product's fresh enough and kind of unnoticeable that you don't need to worry about any lines or anything. Okay, so that is what I would call a really natural contour. Let me see if I can turn my light down a wee bit. And what you could do now is you could go in with your bronzer and your blusher as usual and then you've just got yourself like a really nice natural contour. Personally, me being me, I want more. So, the way I found I like it is if I get the stick and draw a line and then blend it out with my sponge. So, let's try that. So that makes it super dark. And then just blend. That's more my style. Okay. And obviously you can do like as many layers as you like. If you want it super dark, I'm sure you could just kind of keep on going at it. I'm going to do the other side now. Nice. So I personally find that really easy. You could probably use your fingers even just to kind of diffuse it a little bit more if you like. Um, something else that I like doing is going back with my foundation brush and just cleaning up the edge. Just to make it a little bit sharper. So I'm going to go in a little bit heavier on my forehead. So just doing little... Lines like that, and then again with my sponge, which still has a bit of foundation on it, which I think might be helping blend. But I do think this is such an easy product to use. And then again, I'm going to go a little bit heavier on my jaw. When you're applying straight from the stick as well, it just feels so good, really, really cooling on the skin. Just blending it down my neck. And then, Zoe showed me a really neat little trick with it where you use your finger and you draw it down the sides of your finger with the gel product. And then give your fingers a little rub together. And for a really natural nose contour, you just pinch the top, bring it down. 
And then I'm just gonna blend that in. But that's just lovely. It's like a barely there nose contour. You wouldn't really be able to tell that I've done that. So I like it. So that is the contour and because it's a gel product it's quite sheer so you can still see your skin through it and I think that's what makes this product so lovely is that you can still see your skin behind the contour. Alex Box who helped create this product who is the creative director of Villa Masca said herself that she thinks this is the next new way to contour because contours before have always been very matte and heavy and visible on the skin whereas this is like a natural shadow and if you're worried about colour don't be worried because we have tried it on the palest of skins and even like the darkest of skins on um, beautiful tans people it still shows up really nice so I hope you give that a little try the next product I'm going to show you is the gel colour kind of blush which this one is called charm and it's a beautiful kind of tangerine colour again same kind of product same layout take the little top lid off and this looks super bright even on the back of my hand it comes across really really bright but same thing as before and I would use it this way I would never apply this straight on because it is bright so apply it to the pad of your thumb and you don't need as much product so a little couple of spins on that press my palms together and I'm just pushing that on, on top of the contour, like above the contour, on the kind of most fleshiest part of my cheek. And that's just most meant to give you like the most kind of convincing blush, which I totally agree with. I think it looks beautiful. I'm going to go in a little bit heavier because I love me some blush. And there is another colour. That it's a beautiful pink but because I spring summer coming I am planning on getting some tan I just think that corals just go with kind of warmer skin tones so lovely perfect so I am super happy with that I'm going to go ahead and finish my skincare um my skin routine here we go so my Zoeva highlighter brush and I'm going to go in with my MAC dark tan bronzer one I usually use and I'm just going to kind of hug my contour and bring it up a little bit and I really like the way the powders sit on top of them as well I thought they would maybe stick a weird way but they don't at all And then just to go over my highlight, I've not actually done anything highlighty, like like concealer or anything. I'm just going to let my natural skin be my highlight. And going in with MAC Soft and Gentle, beautiful, very popular highlighting product. And the same brush I use for my bronzer, the Luxe Highlight Brush. I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones down the centre of the nose, which works so well with the nose contour. A little bit on Cupid Row. That's a nice face. I just love the way that the light reflects this highlighter. It's so beautiful. And obviously I am all about that highlight life. So feel free not to put on as much as I do. But I like to glow like the sun. And then just to finish that off, a little bit of loose powder. I always use the Elamasca loose powder because it is the best in the makeup world. And then just to finish the whole look off, I'm going to put a wee lashing of Full Lipstick by MAC. No liner, I'm not really doing liner these days, it's crazy. I just want to kind of touch a colour, focus on the eyes and the skin mostly, so. I've totally changed my mind, I'm going to put liner on. And again, if you don't know this trick now, you know I have been using the Rimmel eyebrow pencil in dark brown as a lip liner and it's phenomenal it's so good the product just goes on straight away I will show you and 
and it's quite a good universal one. I, I always tend to use dark brown lip liner. Sorry, I've got a cat visiting me and its hairs are all over my face. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I hope I helped. These new products from Illamasqua, the Gel Sculpt in Silhouette and the Gel Blush in Charm are just gorgeous. Really nice new different products. I've never seen anything like it before. And the Silhouette Sculpt is actually beautiful for male grooming. You can use this with or without makeup. So say you have a total bare face fire this on your bare skin and it still looks absolutely phenomenal obviously me being me i'm never going to be doing that i'm going to be doing it on top of full foundation every day so beautiful products i'm excited they launch on the 31st of march which is been actually considering this is thursday so they are available online and at your um closest illamasqua counter if you are in glasgow come and see me and we will try it on you um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you next week.